Thank you for buying RoboMo, the simplest, safest, and the most convenient way to maintain your lawn. It's simple. RoboMo leaves its base station on the predetermined days and times, mows your lawn, and returns to base for charging. RoboMo is your best choice. It is the most powerful robotic mower in the market. We designed RoboMo to trim the edges, so you don't have to. And it will complete the job quickly enough, leaving the lawn free for you and your family to enjoy. RoboMo. It mows, you don't. Everything you need to set up RoboMo on your lawn is in the box. Base station, perimeter wire, pegs, Robo ruler, power box, metal pegs for the base station, narrow passage template, blade removal tool, and the operating and safety manual. It's important to plan your setup before getting started. Depending on the shape of your lawn, decide whether to keep it as one zone or split it. The largest section of your lawn will become your main zone. This is where the base station will be installed. Some lawns have additional zones. If RoboMo is able to access them, they become your subzones. You may have more than one subzone and they do not affect the efficiency of RoboMo. Other lawns have areas that are separated by trees, fences or other objects and RoboMo cannot reach them on its own. These are called separated zones. In some lawns, the passage leading to the subzone is too narrow for operation, but it is wide enough for RoboMo to pass through. If your lawn has such a narrow pass, use the narrow pass template. The template sets the path and guides RoboMo through this passage into your subzone and out of it. One way of setting up a separated zone is by running the perimeter wire of the main zone around the separated zone as well. When your separated zone cannot be connected to the perimeter wire of the main zone, a perimeter switch is required to provide independent signal and power to that area. A perimeter switch is available as an accessory. If the separated zone requires more than a single operation to cover it completely, an additional base station is recommended. An additional base station is available as an accessory. You may use the remote control to drive RoboMo to and from the separated zone. A remote control is available as an accessory. Your first step is to determine the best location for the base station on your lawn. Place it in the largest zone. We recommend finding a shady spot for the base station in the backyard, where it's not visible to the street. Do not place it on a slope or too close to a corner or sprinkler. Your base station comes with a power box, providing power for recharging RoboMo and signal for the perimeter wire. The distance between the power box and the base station is limited. It is now time to set up the perimeter wire around your lawn. The wire will define the designated mowing area and guide RoboMo when mowing the edge. Starting at the base station location, pull the wire ends with the plot connector out of the plastic covering. Peg the beginning of the wire to the ground where the base station will be located. Be sure to leave enough wire to close the loop at the end of the setup. Start laying the wire anti-clockwise, laying it loosely along the lawn edges. Set the perimeter wire by placing pegs every few meters and at the lawn corners. Use the Robo Ruler 
to determine the correct position of the wire around your lawn. When the edge is flat or a cliff, use the shorter distance of the robo ruler. When the edge is a wall, use the longer distance of the robo ruler. We recommend setting the wire in corners as 45 degrees and not 90 degrees. Upon hammering the peg to its final depth in the ground, pull the wire tight. It is essential that the peg's head is hammered below ground level. Remember that you will want to test the wire setup before you fill in additional pegs. Use the robo ruler for accurate placement of the wire when bypassing obstacles at the lawn edges. When additional wire is required to complete the wire setup, use the connectors provided with the product. Strip the wire ends and twist them together into the silicon filled wire nuts. Make sure they're tightly secured. When the edges of obstacles are too low or too soft to be detected by Robomo bumpers, use the perimeter wire to create a perimeter island around the obstacle. Both wires leading to the perimeter island should be parallel and touching. Apply the same method for flowerbeds, young trees and ponds. If you're setting a separated zone, the wires leading to the separated zone should be parallel and touching. After pegging the wire all around the lawn, join the beginning and the end wires. Use the same peg to fasten the two loose perimeter wire ends down to the ground. Cut the wire end without the connector so they're of equal length. Discard any excess wire and twist them. Strip the wire end. Insert the free perimeter wire into the hole of the connector using a small flat screwdriver. Tighten the screw to secure the perimeter wire into the connector. Place the base station on the perimeter wire. Insert one stake into the base station front hole. Align the base station on the perimeter wire so the wire is aligned in the middle using the front and rear marks on the base station. Insert the second stake into the base station front hole. Remove the base station charging adapter from the base station by pulling the front lever upward and pushing the adapter forward until it slides out. Connect the perimeter wire connector to the bottom of the base station. Confirm that the power extension cable is properly connected. Replace the base station charging adapter back on the base station by sliding it in from the front. Confirm it is locked well in its place. Carefully lay the length of the power extension cable. Ensure it is fastened securely to the ground so it does not present a tripping hazard. Connect the power extension cable to the power cable coming from the power box. Plan to install the power box in a convenient and visible location. Mount the metal brackets securely on the wall with the screws provided. Once secured, slide the power box along the wall and onto the bracket. Connect the power box to a regular household plug socket. The docking indicator will light up if the mower is in its base station or the operating indicator will light up if the mower is not. This indicates the system is on and functioning properly. To set the cutting height, lift the door and rotate the cutting height adjustment knob to the desired cutting height. To connect the fuse, screw the fuse holder with the fuse inside it into the mower chassis from the rear. Robomo will now wake up.
These are the first settings you'll be required to set. Simply follow the guided instructions on the LCD and press the relevant buttons as needed. Position Robomo inside the lawn towards the perimeter wire, at least two meters before the base station, and press the Go button. Once the base station is positioned properly, fasten it in place using the metal stakes. You'll be prompted to set the area of the main zone and press Go to continue. Robomo will determine the weekly mowing schedules based on the set size of your lawn. Now that the base station is set, it's time to test the wire position. Walk along with Robomo as it follows the edge. Adjust the wire as needed. Continue until Robomo completes one loop of the perimeter without striking an object. Once you complete the main zone, you'll be prompted to add additional subzones. Follow the menu instructions on the LCD step by step. When you're satisfied with the wire position and how Robomo travels along it, you're ready to complete the setup. Walk back along the perimeter and add pegs to areas where the wire is not securely fixed to the ground. Your Robomo will independently depart from its base station at the predetermined days and times based on the lawn area you set. Robomo follows the wire and cuts the edge of the lawn first before turning into the lawn to mow the inside. To avoid wearing down the grass and to save energy, Robomo performs the edge cutting occasionally and not on every operation. Since the perimeter wire is set around young trees or flower beds as a perimeter island, Robomo will not enter these areas. If the obstacle is rigid and is not contained within a perimeter island, Robomo will stop once it bumps into it, change direction and continue mowing. It will continue mowing until charging is required. In small grassy areas, which Robomo does not reach in automatic operation, it's recommended to mow manually using the remote control. The remote control is available as an accessory. Good-looking lawns are achieved by consistent mowing provided by Robomo. You're now ready to enjoy your free time while Robomo looks after your garden. Your lawn will be mowed quietly and accurately. You're welcome to visit the Robomo website, www.robomo.eu. Robomo. It mows. You don't. <laughs>